All right. What did you see from uh, Daniel Jones? Um, I saw. I mean, you can't be mad about it. It was yeah. good. It was. I thought it was made some good throws. Made some the throws. The throws were good. Seemed to be set up for some pretty soft, easy throws. The touchdown pass was nice. Yeah. Um. Pretty pretty good throws all around. But I mean, the 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 march down the field wasn't. It was Daniel Jones, and everybody I think was more surprised than anything. And of course, it's a young guy who comes out and goes perfect five for five. He's a Hall of Famer. Yeah. You know, no chance. Even though everybody hated him before that. Game. Right. Um, and then everybody wants to shit on Eli Manning. Every single Roto World blurb you read about Eli Manning is how he was just terrible last year and he's fallen off. But I mean, if you look at the numbers, they were he fucking had like good. Maybe the third most yards of his career and the highest completion percentage of his career. And last I, year. Like, I mean, Shermer, obviously, you don't have Odell. He had, didn't have Odell for stretches last year. Yeah. If you can get Tate and uh, Ste- Shepard and Ingram on the field, I think the. That kind of completion percentage stuff and what Shermer does and Saquon, right? All that stuff could say the same. I mean, in that in that situation, like I don't, I don't, I think they should let Eli. If they're if they're playing half decent, I think they should let Eli play. Like one, I think he's earned the right to play. Two, I don't think he's as bad as everyone makes him out to be. Three, this offensive line, which nobody likes to talk about, is going to be should be. Much better than it was last year. You would expect Solder to hopefully settle in and be the guy that they brought in there. They drafted a guy in Hernandez last year to be a just a mauling monster, and he mm-hmm. was pretty solid. Um, and then in the Odell trade, they got Zietler, who's a nobody, really fucking awesome player. And nobody talks about that. Right. Nobody talks about that. So this offensive line should be better. Eli should have a little bit more time, a little bit more confidence to stand in there like He's not a dummy. Like he's not super mobile, and he's not going to take the shots. He wants right. to play, so he just sometimes he does just fall Fetal over. Position. Right, <laughs> whatever. That's what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> well, but, I mean, the like, narrative. There's no, there's no reason for Daniel Jones to play unless it goes off the rails for yeah. the for the Giants. Like I, you can sit there and you can learn behind a Hall of Fame quarterback who's won two Super Bowls, who's a professional, who's got the name pedigree, who has the. Just the overall pedigree in the NFL. Look, you may not like Eli Manning, but he's a pretty decent quarterback. Like, well, I mean, I wanted to, I wanted to argue against you and be like, "There's no reason they shouldn't be playing Daniel Jones because they're not going to be that good." But maybe they will be. And then you look at the numbers, and Manning had some of the best statistics of his career last year. And it's like, right. the, but the narrative around him is that he was terrible, and if because he wasn't winning games, if you don't look at actually because what happened, the team wasn't very good, right? Defense wasn't good. Offensive line wasn't good. Like Odell was in and out. Shepard played half decent. I mean, and then you take away Odell and, and you think Ingram, about last year, then you're like, that's that's kind of creating the narrative that they're going to be bad. Right. And then there's no reason to not play Daniel Jones if they're bad. But I mean, if they're competitive. Right. We'll I, I mean, we'll see roll. how it goes. I mean, yeah, there you I don't have any problem playing Daniel Jones. If if by week eight to ten, you're you're clearly heading in a different in the wrong direction why not see what you have like yeah. there's no reason to just let Eli play it out let's let's get a look at the kid 